How are you all doing? What were you going up to in this video? Well, we're going to be working on the CBR 1000S Banfield bike, trying to diagnose the death rattle on the engine. So let's get on with it. Right, so it's now January, and I don't think I've touched this bike since uh, end of August, early September, when it broke my heart with the deadly engine rattle. So I'm going to be totally honest with you, I am really not looking forward to touching this at all. But all that aside, let's get on with it. So as you can see, it's all gone a bit mouldy from standing in the tin shed for five or six months or whatever it's been. So let's see if we can find the seat catch. Okay then, so what I'm going to get up to now is uh, charge the battery up and then try to start the bike because Chris, you never know, there might be a little angel or a little fairy or a little uh, genie in my shed over the winter and he's uh, fixed my engine problem for me. Yeah, we all wish. Well, I wish. But no, I just want to listen to that rattle again and see if I can uh, work out if it's the cam chain. Yes, because people have been saying it's the cam chain making the rattling noise which I know is quite common on these but but to me it sounds a bit more bumpier than that but I'm just going to start the engine to try and familiarise myself with the sound again because, because other people have been saying it's the engine's out of balance the carburetors need setting up I do know it doesn't rev properly but uh, I'm thinking that's either because with my own made engine to carb manifold rubbers the engine ports come out straight like that to there, to there but the carburetor ports come out at an angle like that to there, to there so it's a bit awkward to uh, tell if there's any leaks there or whatever plus there is a spot plug cap in there which I had to replace so that could be another reason it's not quite firing on all four cylinders because the one I replaced it with was quite slim and the one I put in is an NGK and it is quite fat so it might not be quite going down the tunnel if you know what I mean so that will be my first check so I've had the battery on charge for 8 hours but it's only showing 12.5 volts which is uh, a little bit alarming ok so if I press that on there you see it's only uh, 12.5 volts well yes we've got it 12.54 is that good or bad i guess we'll soon find out okay then moment of truth key in ignition on oh we've got lights the choke on dead we can press the starter button there goes <laughs> oh dear me didn't we all just know that was going to happen another expensive heap of shit from ebay this is why I don't like this bike at all. Every step forward 
is three steps backwards every single time now that's it, this is charged up brilliant bit of kit but it's bloody awkward These crocodile clips are awkward to stick on the bloody terminals Really, really fucking awkward. Yeah, then you think you got it on, and then you jump off and make you fucking jump. Like that. I oh, give up, fuck it. My adapter felt a bit, so I've had to put tape around it. Uh, on there I've used the uh, crocodile clip from the uh, battery charger and then put this crocodile clip onto that crocodile clip and let's try and uh, get this crocodile clip onto the earth <laughs> oh my god Is that it? Is it on? Is it going to jump off and scare me to death? Does it even work? Stay there. Let's go back over here. Turn the key on. Press the ignition. Fuck all. <laughs> oh my god. this video I'm just going to call it a day. That's it. Done. some sort of loud whistling noise on it and I can't turn the choke down because it'll stall and it's been worried for I don't know how long on full choke well you know how most people like to name their bikes give their bike a name we've got the perfect name for this one bitch I see you in another life brother 